So what's increasingly important, as Andreas stated in business reporting, is that the user can create meaningful reports literally in seconds to save time then for actual analysis, discovering insights and finding the value of the data. So first, I'm going to start with creating our Zebra BI cards visual. So I'm going to add actuals and previous year. I will add the KPIs to groups and to categories. I'm going to add the quarters here. So uh, in just a few clicks, I have created a nice cards visual with my KPIs that will help me with my next steps. So to prepare my dashboard further, I'm going to uh, increase the size of this tables visual. And in the tables visual, we want to show a product breakdown. So from my products table, I will add the product hierarchy to the categories. I will add the actual numbers and the previous year. And again, with just a few clicks, I have created uh, quite a meaningful table. So now just a little detail before we go. Further, I'm going to turn on the uh, grand total. So you can see that this table is already uh, very rich with data. We have uh, product categories with products listed beneath. We have uh, automatically calculated variances, so absolute and uh, relative, and uh, it's already a lot, but we can make it even better. So now I'm gonna show you the uh, dynamic title feature. So we want our title to adjust to the KPIs that we select here. So for this purpose, I will bring to my visual the selected KPI measure. And now I have the option to go here in the title and I can start typing selected KPI by product and voila, now my title says revenue by product. And if I switch here to another uh, KPI, the title adjusts. So that's, uh, that's making it dynamic. As the next step, as you see here, if I have the revenue selected, the numbers are formatted in millions and thousands. And if I switch over to gross margin percent, I have decimal numbers, which is not ideal. I would like to have percentages here. Right. To achieve this, I'm going to use another brand new feature. So I will go to the settings and expand the data label and find the units setting here. And I will switch it to Power BI. What this does is that now the visual starts reading the format of the uh, uh, numbers from the Power BI's data model. And because gross margin numbers are formatted as percentages, that's how they are uh, displayed here. So if I switch back to revenue, now it's in thousands and it's working beautifully. And let's uh, in add some context to this table of ours. So we have here again, if I ex expand my hierarchy, I have product categories and then products listed below. So those are the product names. And let's say I want to add now a little bit more context to this uh, product. So I can bring in the SKUs here to the values bucket. And this adds another column to my visual and I can move it here on the left. And now I have next to my product name, I have SKU column. This is our internal you know, stock ID. And for example, I can now switch the actual column to um, numeric values. I can also resize one of the columns here. Perhaps I can increase the size of this one if I want to, and I'm ready uh, for my next step. So, for this particular presentation, I will now remove the SKU because we want to have a little bit more space for me to show you something else. And here, if we're if we're looking at the products, right? If you if you now put your shoes, uh, if you put yourself in the shoes of your viewers, there might be a little bit too many products here. So what I will do is I will right click on the categories and I will choose this top, bottom and functionality. I want to apply it to the product, uh, to my products. I will select the top N filtered by my actuals. And let's say I want to show 
seven uh, products for each product category. And now again, you can see my others category was generated automatically. You know, all the numbers are calculated, the variances, and I can interact with it directly on the visual and it's working really nicely. And then let's bring this to another step further. So I will go to this plus button here on top and I will add something new as well, which is called quick calculations. And by clicking here on the percent of grand total, I get another column that is autom again automatically calculated directly on the visual. And if I expand it here, I can, it has also all the settings as the other columns and I can change it, for example, chart type to uh, pin chart. And perhaps I have changed my mind. I don't want to have the percent of grand total and I can change it to percent of running total here. So uh, very nice. Now I have, you see with uh, just a few clicks, I have created a very comprehensive table without any DAX formulas, without, uh, without fiddling in the data model. Everything was done on the visual and it was done very quickly. So in this presentation, I have already used a few new features that aren't released yet, but uh, that are coming out soon. So the ones that I have used is the number format from model. I have used the dynamic title here. Then I have shown text measures with the SKU, the uh, column calculations here, and I have also shown you the new resizing of the columns.